it's your boy, the real McCoy, coming at you, man. He talking about the NFL, National Football League, man. Uh, talking about week eight of the uh, football season, man. My, as you can see, uh, my my Dallas Cowboys, man. We played the Washington Redskins at home. Redskins had their third string quarterback, Colt McCoy, as came in as a starter, and and he lit us up. I mean, I just he lit, he lit us up, man. I, I was like, what? It was one of the. I mean, the Cowboys didn't play horrible. They didn't play horrible. We had two turnovers. Uh, DeMarco Murray fumbled again. Uh, Joseph, uh, Joseph Ramble fumbled again. I mean, we, we, we didn't play horrible. What, what cost us, Jim, we got our coach on the offensive side of the ball. Jim Hazlitt came out with, with the blitzing schemes he had, and it, it, it totally confused Romo. He, he, he didn't know what to do. What reads to make, what hot routes to to, to, uh, to um, change to, and if you look at it from the past matchups with Jim Haslett as a defensive coordinator for the Redskins versus the Cowboys, he has fooled Romo before. That's not the first time, and uh, we just Jason Garrett the whole offense. We just couldn't adjust to it. We could not uh, adjust to the, to the blitzing scheme. Defense played okay, but just I mean. Colt McCoy, third-string quarterback, I think he threw like 299 yards, right at 300 passing yards, you know what I'm saying? F efficient, 30, like 35, I believe, or something like that. It just he lit us up. I mean, it just completely lit us up, man. I, this is one game I felt pretty confident in. Third-string um, quarterback coming in. A team that's 2-5, and third-string quarterback. I mean, we, we running the ball, defense playing solid. We at home. Prime time Monday night football, and I was like, "This is a game we got in the bag," you know what I'm saying? But any given Sunday, you know, even though this game was on Monday night, it's the NFL, man. Anybody can beat you, man. And that that show, man. I was, I wanted to do a video right after the game, but you know, I was emotions was high. I didn't want to be cursing and all that, but I, that ticked me off, man. We on the roll, man. Six and one. We got the Arizona Cardinals coming in next week. Now they have the best record in the NFC. You know what I'm saying? So. I don't, I don't know, man. And Romo got hurt the back again. He came back late. I mean, Romo a warrior. He a warrior, man. He done played through injuries week two. What, 2012, I believe? 13, 2011, something like that? He broke, a, broke a real puncture along against the 49ers. He came back and led us to victory in overtime. You know what I mean? So, he, he I mean, he's the warrior. But that that shouldn't happen, man. Like, come on. I mean, DeMarco got his 100 yards rushing. I mean, he had 100 yards rushing on, like, 16, 17 carries. You know what I'm saying? So, let me zoom this out a little bit. Hold on. It's too thick. Oh, it's wrong way. I edit all that. Hey, zooming out, part out, love. But, you know what I mean? R Romo was just... I mean, DeMarco did his thing, man. He had over, like, um, like 140, um, 150 rushing yards. And we could have kept running the ball. I mean, even in, in overtime, they drove down the field. We made them kick a field goal. So, with, with the new rules in overtime, one for the first team to get a field goal don't win it. So, we got a chance. And we had a third and two. You know what I'm saying? A third, something, third and three. We could have ran the ball in one of those plays. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, he's just – that that was the frustrating part. Romo was, what, 34 years old and I've been in the league for 10 years. And he's still getting confused. By blitzing schemes. I mean, everybody's human. I mean, I mean, anybody can be confused, can be, can be, can get confused. You know what I'm saying? But all the experience you have. I mean, look at the film. And Jim Hazlitt has done the exact same thing to Tony Romo before. And he just couldn't figure it out. He just, he, he just could not figure out the blitzing scheme from the Redskins. Whereas in the all-out blitz, where they drop him back, change the hot routes, they never did go into mass max protection. Because he figured if they all out blitz, somebody's got to be open, you know what I mean, and down the field. But Romo just he couldn't find him. I mean, and the, the, the good Redskins credit, their, their two rookie corners play lights out. They balled, man. They they balled. Dez Bryant, couldn't, he couldn't win one-on-one -on -one matchups. They balled. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they came in with a perfect game plan. I mean, it was, it was, it was a little... I mean, it was a little risky putting the corns out there on the island, but it paid off, man. It, it, it paid off because Dez and Terrence Williams couldn't consistently beat the man-to-man -man coverage. You know what I mean? But that that frustrated me, man. That ticked me off. Man. We should have 
you don't lose to a third string quarterback. I mean, that just shouldn't make. Not no, man. Look, I, I'm not knocking Colt McCoy saying he trash or he garbage or anything like that. But he shouldn't. He shouldn't light us up like that. You know what I'm saying? That just shouldn't happen. You know, maybe he didn't light us up. I mean, if they put up 20 points, but he passed for 300 yards. You know what I'm saying? I think the most the most frustrating thing. And look, even though we got, I still think we got the best offensive line in football. And I knew at some point, I mean, I don't care how good your offensive line is, you're going to get hit. That's just what it is. You're going to get hit. So I knew at some point Romo was going to get hit. And, you know, with his back, we didn't know if he was going to be able to take it. You know, he, he got out in the third. He got hit, left in the third quarter, came back late in the fourth. You know what I mean? And Brandon Whedon, look, he looked solid. You know what I mean? I was kind of, we let go of Kyle Orton. And Kyle Orton with the Buffalo Bills right now. He's doing his thing. And I was like, Brandon Whedon? I was like, oh, man. Because, you know, Romo with the back, we, we might need Whedon. And we needed him last night for the first time. He came in, he threw the touchdown to Jason Witten. He threw another one. He should have threw one to Dez, but Dez dropped it. That's a play Dez Bryant got to make. He tried to catch it against his shoulder in the end zone on a quick slant. And um, uh, I think Emerson, Emerson, the rookie from Clemson, he uh, he knocked it out. Of, and that's why you got to, Jerry Rice, you got to catch it with your hands. If Dez would have caught the ball away from his body with his hands, the rookie, um, the, the Dez is very strong. You catch it with your hands away from your body, the corner can't knock it out. He might hit your forearm, your forearm, but your hands are so dead, hands are so strong, he will be able to knock it out. But he tried to catch it against his body on his shoulder pad that the DB made a play. It don't mean, hey, get it, get it, get a corner credit. He made a play. You know what I mean? That's a play that Dez Brain got to make. And Brandon Wheaton didn't he didn't look horrible. He played solid. You know what I mean? He he may have to play against the Cardinals this coming week. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's I was just, I was just disappointed in my Cowboys, man. I, not not so much as the defense. I was a little bit disappointed at Colt McCoy coming in and doing his thing, but it's the NFL. He's a pro quarterback, NFL quarterback. Anybody can get you any given Sunday. You know what I mean? Anybody, anybody can get you. What I was frustrated with is the inability of Tony Romo and Jason Garrett and Scott Linehan, the offense, being able to scheme and maneuver, you know what I mean, around that the blitzing that the Redskins were doing. We just we just couldn't. He like, Jason Gary got out coached by Jim Haslam, the defensive coordinator. He just, he just he just couldn't figure it out. He just could not figure that out. You know what I mean? Romo was trying to change hot routes, this, that, and the third. He he couldn't find an open guy. I mean, as great as your offensive line is, you got five offensive linemen. If they send in six, seven, and eight. They they can only block so many without holding. You know what I mean? We never did go match protection. You know, and we just could not, we just, we just could not figure it out, man. That was the most frustrating thing to me, man. We just couldn't figure it out. It, man, that, that ticked me off, man. It pissed me off last night, man. I wanted to do a video last night right after the game. I was like, no, I'm going I'm to calm down. I'm going to chill. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I do on tomorrow. But, man, that pissed me off, man. You got it, me. Romo been in the league for 10 years, man. Been in the starter for eight or oh three. Been a starter since oh six, I think. Eight years, something like that. I mean, come on, man. You shouldn't be getting confused at this point in your career. I mean, you gonna throw in. A, he didn't throw one last night. Throwing interceptions is part of the game. But confusion, you can't. Be, you should be getting confused, man. Man, they, they they gotta fix that. I mean, there's not not every team in the league gonna be doing that. But if you go back and look. The, the film and past history, Jim Haslam, when he's played uh, against the Cowboys, he's a defensive coordinator. That's what he did to Tony Romo. He blitzed him and he confused him. Go back and look at it. He confused him, man. God damn, man, dude, you gotta figure that out, man. You gotta be able to figure that out. When Dez Bryant, you one of the best receivers in the game, dude. You gotta beat one on man to man coverage. You gotta beat man to man coverage, man. You too talented not to. Again, it's these rookie corners. What's going on, man? It's one-on-one -on -one coverage on the outside, man. You gotta beat that, bro. I'm a big time Dez Bryant fan. Like, come on, man. You gotta beat man coverage, bro. You got Patrick Peterson coming in next week. You know what I'm saying? One of the better corners in the game. Like, come on. It's rookie corners. You got you gotta make that play, Dez, in the end zone. Like, God, ain't DeMarco, dude, you gotta stop fumbling, bro. Man, you catch the ball down the sideline for like 40, 50 yards, you get in the red zone, fumble. That's got to stop, man. You know what I'm saying? We looking like the old Cowboys, man. Defense playing their butts off, and the offense, I mean, usually it's, it's vice versa. Look these turnovers, and this dude, you got to beat man to man. I mean, come on, you did it against Sherman. 
I mean, up in Seattle, against Sherm, Richard Sherman. I mean, you beat Sherm, man to man. Like, come on, bro. You got to beat man. We can't let these rookie cornerbacks do you like that, bro. Come on. I mean, that, I, mean I ain't trying to, you know what I mean? Call my, I'm, a, I'm a true bleed cowboy, blue Dallas cowboy fan. I'm just irritated, pissed off with my team. You know what I'm saying? At home, that stuff shouldn't happen, bro. You know what I mean? We, sh we shouldn't be getting confused on no blitz. Look at the film. Jim Hasley's done this to us before. We should have known that was coming. Change the hot route. Do use max protection. Leave Jason Witten in, DeMarco Murray in the block. Do two man routes if you got to. And that puts pressure on the on the wide receiver. Yo, Dez and Terrence Williams. Y'all gotta beat man to man coverage. You gotta do your job. It's Tony Romo's job in the offense to be to, to, to figure out the scheme, the blitzing scheme. You do max protect. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. This this stuff ain't hard, man. Lead Jason Witten in the block. Lead DeMarco Murray in the block. Pick up the blitz. Once the, and it, it, and if they drop back in recovery, and then you can release Jason Witten. You know what I mean? It's, I mean, it's, it's, I ain't gonna say it's simple, but come on, man. I mean, it don't take a genius to figure this stuff out. You know what I mean? I mean, I, mean, I, I know football, but I ain't no genius. I ain't no I ain't, I ain't gonna say I know everything, but you got you got to max protect. Quick slants, hitches, drag routes, crossing routes. And and Dez and Terrence, y'all gotta do y'all job. Y'all gotta be man to man coverage. I mean, come on, you gotta do your job, man. You gotta be better than that, man. We six one six straight. Like, come on, man. I mean, we didn't look like trash last night, but you got the third string quarterback coming in. A team that's two and five. It's prime time. You at home. We on the roll. I mean, we our team on the roll. You know what I'm saying? Demarco got his hundred yards rushing again. Over 100, almost 150 rushing yards. It wasn't stopping it. You know what I'm saying? We beating ourselves with the fumbles. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. We better than that, man. We better than that. Brandon Wheaton came in. He looked solid. You know what I'm saying? So you can't blame him. He looked good. Dez, you got to make that play in the end zone, dude. All right, running backs got to start fumbling. I mean, it's just, come on. We got to start fumbling. I mean, it's ain't hard. It's easy football, man. Like, come on. God damn, man. The fuck is what's going on, man? You gotta, you gotta be better than that, man. I'm man, this your boy the real McCoy, man. I'm out, man. Peace.